to Tokyo Kitchen Japanese Cooking Class. This is Yoshimi. Today I'm going to show you how to make Japanese tuna sandwich. It's very simple, very easy, and most importantly, it's delicious. Let me show you how to make it, but before we carry on, please hit the subscribe button below before you forget. Okay, let's get started. These are what you need. Two slices of Japanese white bread, canned tuna, half cucumber, Japanese or Persian or English cucumber, one tablespoon mayonnaise, one teaspoon soy sauce, one tablespoon room temperature butter. At first, I'm going to cut the cucumber. Cut the top off. Let's make long, thin slices. Long, thin slices like this. Sprinkle a little bit of salt. And leave it for five minutes to bring out the moisture. In the meantime, I'm making the tuna mayo filling. And this tuna I'm using today is in oil, it's not in brine. And I don't want to make my tuna mayo sandwich too oily, so let's remove the oil. Prepare a small tea strainer. Just strain it. And push it well to remove all the excess oil. This much oil is removed. Tuna in the small bowl. Mix it well until it's nice and fluffy. One teaspoon soy sauce. One teaspoon mayonnaise. And give it a nice mix. Tuna mayo filling is ready. Back to the cucumber. You can see it's wet. The salt I sprinkled brought out the moisture. Using paper towel, let's remove the moisture. Prepare plastic film and the bread. Let's spread some butter. And tuna mayo filling. All of it. Then cucumber. Let's put this bread on top with the butter side facing down. Wrap it up with this plastic film tightly. And let it sit for five minutes. Now it's time to cut and serve. Let's remove the plastic film. When we make sandwich, we normally cut the crust off. So today I'm cutting it off, but if you like the crust, you can of course leave it on. And you can cut it as you like, but today I'm doing this. Serve on a plate and Japanese tuna sandwich is ready to go. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. More videos coming up so don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on so that you don't miss anything. Bye!